In this video, we're going to take a look at how to install a crimp style BNC connector on some RG8 coax. The same connector will fit a wide variety of different coax types that are all about the same dimensions of RG8X. Well, the items needed will be the connector, of course, the coax, a uh, couple of pieces of heat shrink tubing. I've got some quarter inch and some three eighths inch here that we'll use. Uh, a pair of proper uh, crimpers, we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, a pair of cutters, an X-Acto knife, or maybe if you've got a coax trimming tool, and then uh, some uh, heat source to uh, to shrink the heat shrink tubing when we're all done. Now the first step is to slide the heat shrink tubing and the crimp sleeve on the coax before you get started. Next we'll prepare the end of the coax by trimming the outer insulation, the braid, and then the inner insulation to meet these dimensions. Now keep in mind that these dimensions really apply to this particular connector from this manufacturer here. Uh, and supplier from Max Gain Systems. Uh, always be sure to follow the instruction sheet for the connector manufacturer that you're buying the connectors from because the dimensions may differ because the connector designs may differ. I typically start just by arbitrarily going back a little bit further than I need to and trimming the outer insulation here first and then working my way tor uh, towards the end of the coax and then trim the final center connector uh, at the very end. To me that makes it a little bit more logical sense to try to keep track of all the dimensions. With the end of the coax prepared properly, the next thing we want to do is attach the center pin. Now, the center pin can be attached either through crimping or through soldering. Soldering is generally more recommended. That's what I'm going to do here. Apply some heat to the back side of the connector and put a little bit of solder through the visible weep hole up here. And it doesn't take much. Once you see it drawing into the hole you're basically done. Now make sure that uh, you don't have any excess solder on the outside body of the center pin here because that might prevent you from inserting it properly into the body of the connector. And also take a note, there's a little bit of a groove right here and uh, when you insert this center pin into the connector you'll actually hear a click when it gets inserted all the way. So again, that, you got to make sure that's perfectly clean, doesn't have any solder or flux left in it. Now you can uh, kind of rotate around the uh, center pin and the center insulation to spread out the shield so that it goes on the outside of the crimping surface here and insert the connector in place. Now again, you want, you want to push firmly until you hear that click. I typically like to push it down on the table this way so I can actually hear that click happen. Right, next we take the crimping ferrule and slide it all the way up over the braid and completely cover it Make sure you don't have any stray ends sticking out too far. If you do, you can trim them off. And we get ready to crimp. Now when it comes to crimping the ferrule, again, you want to follow the instructions that, you, that come along with the connector. And for this connector, we actually want to use a 0.255 inch uh, hex uh, crimp tool. And that's what we have here. Okay, we'll insert the connector's ferrule into the crimping die here. And just before we crimp down on it, we'll make sure we're fully seated. And we'll bear down on this and make the crimp. That completes the installation of the connector. I'm going to add a little bit of heat shrink tubing to seal off the end of the connector and act as a little bit of a strain relief uh, for the end of the connector here. Right, the first step I put on here is a quarter inch heat shrink and I've got a little uh, butane uh, soldering iron here with a blow tip on it that I'll use to shrink the tubing around the coax and the connector. Next I've got some 3 8 I'm going to put on here. This might be a little large, we'll have to see if it shrinks all the way down. If it doesn't, I will just uh, remove it. But it looks like it may do okay here. And this just adds another little bit of uh, strain relief here to where the coax meets the connector itself. And that completes the installation of this crimp style BNC connector from Max Gain Systems onto this RG8X coax.